Hey, today I want to talk about something that actually happened yesterday. I'm a member of the Allen Fairview Chamber of Commerce. I'm actually on the board, very involved. And yesterday we had our regular weekly meeting. And if you've ever been to one of these weekly chamber meetings, everyone gets a 30-second elevator pitch. And you go around the room, you tell people about you and your business. It's just 30 seconds. And in that 30 seconds, you want people to know how much you care about what you do and which the services that you offer and why they should be dealing with you. Well, you're also very fortunate, and I feel very fortunate, to be surrounded by a bunch of small business owners for the most part. Some people don't own the business, but they take ownership of their business enough to wake up on a Tuesday morning and go talk about what they do for a living. So you're surrounded by a lot of people who really, truly enjoy their work and want to provide great customer service. And that's what happened yesterday. Someone got up to give their 30-second pitch, and he started by saying, how many of you in the room love your work? And almost everyone in there raised their hand, which was so good to see. It wasn't really surprising to me that um, everyone would raise their hand because these are people that do really love their work. And I do feel very fortunate to be surrounded by people that do love their work because these people are optimistic. They look forward to waking up every day. They can't wait to get into work and provide the best customer service they possibly can. They take a lot of pride in their work. It's just really good to be surrounded by people that are passionate about what they do. And as a consumer, I can tell you this. I would much, 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 much rather deal with someone who's passionate about their job and what they do and about their profession than someone who's just trying to earn money. Because there's this huge difference between attitude and and the service that you get. The people, I mean, you can be really good at your job and make money, okay? that's I'm not saying that um, people can't do that. The people that are in it for the money can't provide good customer service because it really does go hand in hand. But the people I want to deal with or the people that just truly love their work are passionate about it and they want to prove it to you. They want to provide amazing customer service. That's who I want to deal with. And that's why um, as a consumer, things actually changed for me once I did join the Chamber of Commerce and I got to see who these business owners were, who the plumbers were, who the roofers are, um, the people that really do care Uh, about their reputations, and they don't just care about making money. And I hope that that's the way I come across. Um, I also want to point out that the Chamber is a great way to network. There's tons of networking opportunities out there through Chambers of Commerce, through different networking groups. But this is where my business really thrives, because a podcast is the ultimate way, other than actually doing the work and proving it, But a podcast is a great way to show people how much you care about your business, about your profession, how passionate you are before they even get to meet you. And what I'm saying is this, yesterday when I was at the Chamber of Commerce meeting and I got to see those people raise their hands, I was fortunate that I was there. And there was probably about 70 people in in that room that got to see other business owners and how passionate they are. So if you were in there, you reached about 70 people to show them how much you care. What if you want to reach a larger audience? Well, a podcast reaches limitless amounts of people. It's only limited by how well you promote it, how well other people promote it, and how many people can be exposed to your message. It's not just a room full of 60, 70 people. Same thing with print advertising. I'm not against print advertising at all. Print, I mean, people people do very well advertising in print. Otherwise, people wouldn't do it. But can you really convey the passion that you have about your business, about your service, through a print ad? Now, you can tell people about the deals that you have. You can show people that you want to stay in the top of their mind, but it's not easy to convey how passionate you are 
about providing great customer service. In a podcast, people get to hear your voice talk about your business. They can hear the excitement in your voice. Hopefully, you can hear it in mine. Hopefully, you can tell, by the way, if you're watching on video, my hair looks right now because I've been in the office since about 5.30 this morning editing audio. So I've got headphone hair, and I love coming in. I love coming in as early as I possibly can to get work done, okay? And that's the type of passion that you can't really convey on any print ads or any publications that you do. And trust me, I do them. I've got brochures and and print ads, but this doesn't really convey my passion. Um, It just tells you my prices. It tells you the services that I provide. And that's important. I'm not saying it's not. But what's really important, for me at least, is to get the message across that I want to provide you amazing customer service. And a podcast can do that. The other thing is in a networking group, you get 30 seconds. And some people are really, really good at delivering a 30-second message. I'm not. But they can deliver a 30-second message and pretty much kind of convey how passionate they are about their product and their desire to help you. For me, it takes longer. I want to get um, more descriptive. And I really hope that you can hear it in my voice that I do care um, about providing that great customer service. As a matter of fact, I can tell you that before you even ask the question, finish the question, if you start a question, can I or can you, before you even finish the question, my answer is going to be yes. And I love that about being able to work for myself. I don't have to ask anyone else's permission. If my client wants to do something, I can just figure it out for myself. Yes, let's figure out a way to do this. It's ne- it may never have been done before, but I've got the power to figure out a way to provide that service that my client wants. And I can't really convey that in the 30-second message. And I definitely can't convey my excitement and my passion in a 30-second message. So that's where the, um, the power of podcasts come in because you can showcase how much you truly care. You can get people to know, like, and trust you before they even meet you through a podcast. Someone that I've never met, I hope, is going to listen to this podcast or may watch the video and say, that Frito guy, I've never met him, but that's someone I want to do business with. That's someone that I can trust because I listen to him talk about his business. I can hear how passionate he is and how much he cares. I've never met him, but I want to do business with him. And that's what a podcast can do for you. And I'm here to help you. I give free consultations. I love talking to people because quite frankly, a lot of the ideas I get from my own business, I get from you. Because everyone has a story. Everyone has an idea, and I can learn from other people. So for that reason, most of my free consultations, yeah, they're free, but hey, I'm getting as much knowledge out of it as you are. So please feel free to give me a call at 214-250-1321. If I don't answer, please leave a message. Shoot me a text at the same phone number, 214-250-1321. Go to the website, which is listed on the video, and in the show notes, www.freedonation.com. Send me an email. Just reach out and let's talk. Thank you.